Hello, this is Mosh Barry, and let me introduce to you Epic. Epic can help you build your course modules very, very easily. So let me show you how it works. First, you create this pink button to create your first module. So let's say first module and add a number, create. Now, these are blank space. You can add anything you want. You can add image, text, video, audio, and a background audio for the whole slide. Now, let's say you want to add image and you can add image in three different ways. You can click the browse button and add image from your hard drive. I'm not going to do that because everybody knows how to do it. But there is one very interesting way to do it, and that's called external links. Let's say you are on a website called Imju and you found an interesting image or a funny meme, something like that. I don't know. You can't just repost finger guns forever and get upvotes. That's where you are wrong, kiddo. Okay, awesome. So let's say you want to use this image straight from Imju to your slide. How do you do that? Very simple. Right click copy image address and simply control V or paste. And the application automatically pulls the image to the slide. You can now resize it, reshape it, reposition it. You can do whatever you want to do. All right. You can even decide the opacity. See that? Great. Now, let's say you want to add an audio for this slide. How do you do that? Click the audio section. Either you can browse and select pre-recorded audios from your hard drive, or you can click this button here, little button here, and allow your browser to use your microphone. For that, please make sure you are using the microphone you want to use, because you may have multiple um, microphones connected. For me, I have multiples, multiple um, microphones connected to the system. So I choose the one I want to use right now. And I will click here and probably my browser and this website already got approval from my browser. I mean, I approved it before, but in your case, if you're using this website for the first time, your browser will ask for approval, whether it will let you, this application to use your microphone or not, you have to say yes. And then you click this little button here. Hey, this is a funny meme I found on imjur.com. It says you can't just repost finger guns forever and get upvotes. That's where you are wrong, kiddo. Now, once I am done, I just click this button again and just name it, okay? Let's name it kiddo audio. Click OK. And as you can see, there is um, the audio recorded successfully. Oh, by the way, remember the slide has 600 seconds default size, default length. But when you go down below on this left hand side and in your My Music section or recorded audio section, wherever you choose, just choose add, you see the length of this slide changes automatically according to the last added media. So here, the last added media is the recorded audio and the audio length was 15 seconds. So the length of this slide automatically becomes 15 seconds. Now you can play and check. Hey, this is a funny meme I found on in. You can hear, right? So that's how, how it works. Very, very simple. Now, if you want to add a text saying funny meme taken from MJ, just like that, you just want to add something and choose the text color, add text, the text is added. Now, if you want to change the background, the text background to be transparent, you can do it. Let's see. Now it's transparent, okay? Or maybe you can change it to something else. Maybe you can change to blue or purple. This is kind of blue or purple something. Choose and it changes, okay? You can change the font family and all other settings, the, uh, the layer positions. 
where it is up or down. Well, let's keep it as is. And then save. Once you move to the next slide, you can save. Now, how is this helpful? It's helpful because most of us cannot speak long time to shoot one module. Or maybe our module elements, graphics, texts are scattered here and there. So in order to put them all in one place and put them in an orderly fashion, we can use these slides and bite-sized slides. So this is what we are doing here. We created one 15 seconds um, slide and we can simply click save. And the application will save this slide. We can move to the next one. Now we have added the next slide and we can do exactly the same thing. Now another thing is video. You can also add videos from your, um, your hard drive or you can use the external links the same way. Okay. Now I did not show you how to use Pixabay images. They are extremely simple. Let's say, um, nice. Let's say I like sky. So let's say sky, beautiful. You want to add this beautiful sky here in the scene. You can simply add it, resize it, reshape it and reposition it as your choice. Now let's delete it and we will go for video. And let's say you will look for Pixar Bay and you want to look for a cat video, a simple cat video. And you want to use this one. And yes, your cat video is here. You see the cat video is here and the cat video length is 11 seconds. So the slide automatically took the size of the last added, um, the length of the last added media. Okay. Now, once you want to save, just click save. That's it. Now you can add as many slides as you want to complete your module. And of course, for all slides, you can add audio, you can add any number of elements or any type of elements. We suggest you to keep it clean and keep it simple in order to make your module simple at the same time, make rendering easier because the rendering will take resources from the server. You can add audio as your music or your voiceover. And if you want to add one background music for the whole video, then you can add it here and you can control the volume from here. Right. And that's it. That's how can you can create your own module. And once you are done, simply click save and then click render. Click OK. Awesome. And the video is in the rendering queue. The time of rendering depends on total size of the used elements or the media files in the video. One thing I can assure you that we are using the best of the best online servers, which is Amazon servers to render the videos. So you're getting the maximum performance and we can't go beyond what they have to offer. So the wisest and smartest way would be while one module is rendering, don't wait for it. Start working on the next module and continue doing your other tasks and let the application do its stuff. I will leave it here for now and go on and complete my other tasks. And I'll come back later to check the results. See you there.